Hello, and welcome to this OECD iLibrary introduction. The iLibrary is OECD's global knowledge base, accessible at www.oecd-ilibrary.org. It contains data sets as well as over 10,000 ebooks structured into different components. Content is categorized into 17 themes such as economics, environment, education, and development. You can also find content in over 30 languages. Now let's take a look at Browse by Theme. When you go to Browse by Theme, you'll find all 17 different themes available in the drop-down menu. For example, let's select Employment. This page connects you to all the content available within the theme Employment, all theme pages will be organized the same regardless of which theme you select. On the left, you'll see the sections Books, Papers, and Statistics, which you can expand to reveal more subsections. The center of the page will display the most recent publications. Browse by Country features a drop-down menu with an alphabetical list of countries from A to Z. The OECD produces varying degrees of content on regions around the world including its 35 member countries, in addition to many others. For example, this is the country page for Australia. All publications are listed here with various content types, formats, and languages. Browse by theme and country can help narrow your search further. After clicking on this tab, you will be able to filter content by any number of themes and or countries by checking the box next to each of your selections. This page displays the results of our search. You can rearrange the results by ascending or descending order, or by any one of the categories listed – date, content type, or alphabetically by title. To the right of each title, you will see icons listed indicating the available formats. Click directly on these icons to view the content in that format. The Narrow Your Search Results feature includes a drop-down menu with several criteria through which you can filter your results by keywords, publication date, content types, content catalogs, theme, and country. For example, we can narrow our previous search to show only publications from 2013. We can also find highly specific content using Advanced Search. This is accessible from the home page, and the link is located just below the general search bar. A menu with six main fields will appear, allowing you to refine results by categories such as keywords, publication date, and languages. As you know, the OECD is well known for its statistical data. On the statistics page, there are three options for navigation. Number one, the database, caters to experienced users who are familiar with manipulating data sets, whereas number two, indicators, gives a more basic overview of the data, and number three, book series provides reference for statistical analysis. After selecting main economic indicators from the first column, we are redirected here. On the left side, there is a list of data sets. On the right side, there is a list of related titles. To display the information, click on the pink data icon next to the title you wish to explore. You will continue to see your selected title on the left side highlighted in blue. Now take a look at the navigation bar above the data table. You'll see the first tab is Customize. Click on it to display a drop-down menu with adjustments and options to change the way you view the data. Next, click on Export, indicated here with the red arrow. Here you can convert the data you're viewing into different file formats. The last tab in this navigation bar is Cite this database. When you click on the selection in the drop-down menu, you'll be redirected to a page with a bibliographic citation as well as a DOI link. The DOI link, indicated with the red arrow, will provide you with a permanent online reference. Returning to the statistics page, let's select Employment from column 2 to demonstrate indicators. In the list of indicators column on the left, select the purple data icon next to Employment Rate. You'll reach this page, which will pop up in a new window. The chart is interactive. You can highlight specific countries by clicking on the bars and see specific data points by hovering over them. From the navigation bar above the chart, you can visualize and share the data online. The third column on the statistics page is book series. 
For example, let's select main economic indicators. On the left, you'll see the navigation bar is organized by volume year. You can search through the contents of this publication, which are further broken down into single tables, each with the respective formats indicated by the icons to the right. You can also use the Cite This Publication link to create a direct citation for the publication shown. As you may notice, our previous example of main economic indicators, chosen from the database column, presented a large dataset which could be filtered. Whereas this example of main economic indicators from the book series column is prearranged into static tables. Seven different formats are available for reading online, downloading, sharing, printing, and organizing content on different devices. PDF format is accessible with a subscription to iLibrary, allowing you to download and print content. Three formats are available for reading on electronic devices. Web allows for user-friendly viewing of content in HTML format on the site. EPUB is designed to be read on devices such as tablets or readers. Read presents content online, similar to a PDF. The last three formats are for working with data. XLS allows for content to be downloaded in a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. Data displays content in an interactive way through the OECD data portal. And CSV is for archive data, presented in plain text format. For questions and more information about iLibrary subscriptions, contact us at oecdilibrary at oecd.org. Click the iLibrary logo to the left to be taken to the website. Click the OECD logo below it to learn more about the organization. Be sure to watch our other tutorials and hit subscribe for the latest videos from iLibrary.